Hello friends, this video is about voice modulation. So before I talk about voice modulation, let me give you a background of its importance. If you take communication as a whole, out of which uh, the research says this, I am not saying this, only 7% is verbal, which means the words we talk are 7% prominent. And the rest 93% consists of two things. One thing is body language, which is the major chunk. And the other one is voice modulation, or you can say the voice quality or voice modulation. That is close to around 38% is what they say, but I believe it is more than that. Okay, according to me, it is more than 40-45% important in a communication. And if you use it properly, your voice modulation alone can create a lasting impression with whomever you're speaking. So in this video, I want you to understand and diagnose yourself and give yourself a number on the quality of your voice modulation. Shall we do that in this video? Yes. So watch, it's very important uh, what I'm going to share with you right now because after watching this, you will be able to give yourself a feedback on the quality of your voice. So I'm going to share with you five parameters in this video. Okay, I have written them there in this book and you have to rate yourself for all these five parameters on the scale of zero to ten. Okay, now zero means you are zero at it. You are not at all good at it. You are pathetic at it. Ten means you are extraordinary at it. Now, whatever I say with you, if possible, take a note, take a pen, write down what point I'm mentioning right now and give yourself a rating. So just pause the video right now, hold, take a pen, take a paper and just make a note of these five parameters which I'm going to share with you. Assuming you have done that now. Yes, I'm assuming you have a paper and pen with you now. Now the first thing, uh, the most important aspect in the voice is the ups and downs. I call it as the modulation of your voice. Modulating in the sense, are you going up when it's required? Are you going down when it's required? Do you keep switching? For example, right, I'm talking to you in a very speed way and I'm talking in a very fast way. And now I'm talking to you with pauses. And now I'm talking very slowly with you in low voice. Now, do you do this? Do you keep changing your voices? If the answer is yes, I do it a lot, then you are above seven, eight, nine, or maybe if you do it extraordinary that you're 10. If you're not able to do it, you're below five. So give yourself a rating for the switching of voices, the modulation of voices. Yeah, that's the first parameter. Pause and rate yourself. How much do you give yourself a rating for modulating your voice? Okay, that's the first parameter. Second parameter, confidence. When you speak, confidence, make a note, confidence. When you're talking, do you speak loud? Do you sound confident? Okay, do people get inspired after talking to you? Do they take you seriously? Just question yourself all this. Just ask yourself all these questions. And if the answer is yes, I sound very confident, then the rating is above seven to 10, okay? If the answer is no, I don't sound so confident, then it is below five. So give yourself a rating right now. Done. Third one is stuttering. Stuttering is, you know, like lots of ahs and ums and okays and you know, in your words, you know, they're called as filler words. Now filler words spoils your modulation or your voice because you sound uncertain and unconfident or underconfident because of that stuttering. Okay, so now give yourself a rating on the scale of 0 to 10. If you stutter a lot, like if you stutter a lot, then it's 0. Okay, if you stutter less, for example, you stutter, you don't stutter at all, then it is 10 out of 10. Okay, so give yourself a rating for ahs and ums, the filler words, right now, do it. Done. The next parameter is clarity. What is the meaning of clarity? Clarity means when you're talking, 
okay are you clear enough to the people who are listening to you or do you eat words and the words are not so clear when they're coming out of your mouth just give yourself a rating for this clarity if you are extremely clear if you're able to if you are able to understand your own voice 100% and people are able to get it without any question then it is 10 out of 10 or else below 5 give yourself a rating right now on clarity that is the fourth parameter and the last parameter is one of the most important parameters and this is about the quality of voice i call it as resonance what is it resonance now resonance is proportional to the quality of voice is your voice deep enough is it crystal clear is there a depth in your voice is your voice low pitch or high pitch okay now high pitch is the kiddish voice coming from the nose or from the upper head like this hi how are you it's a nasal voice it's a nasal voice for example i'm talking to you right now my voice is very nasal this is a nasal voice high pitch voice okay look no quality voice and now when i'm talking to you it's a deep voice the voice is coming from the core okay so now check yourself what is the quality of your voice if your voice is very deep give yourself a rating beyond seven if it is less deep if you feel your voice is nasal or maybe you cannot feel that depth in your voice that seriousness in your voice then you can give it below five yeah so let me repeat the parameters once again voice modulation which means switching the voices up and down the speed and the volume and the emphasis yeah second one is the confidence are you confident enough using loud voice sounding firm in your voice give yourself the rating for that third one is stuttering we are you using filler words fourth one is clarity do you speak clearly and the last one is resonance which means do you sound deep while talking give yourself a rating and come up with the figure and i want you all if you can share with the share with me you can share it uh, in the comment section below or you can send me an email to saurabh at the rate of saurabhsharia.com i'll help you in understanding how we can make ourselves better in this department of voice modulation so this is about understanding what level of your voice quality or voice modulation you have as of now and in the next video i'm going to disclose what steps what actions we can take together to make this voice better to make this voice more impactful yeah and i'm ho i'm hoping you're ready for that if the answer is yes type yes in the comment section along with your score and see you with a new video answering how to improve the score yeah saurabh so, chare here signing off see you tomorrow with a new video thank you